Hello everyone, this is Michael Jacobs. Nice quick little look at a really good golf swing. Local club professional, excellent player. Does a lot of really good things in his golf swing. And I figured in this particular little video clip, I'd point out all the good things. You can see that as he's starting to take the club back, there was initial spike with a little more pressure into the left foot. Not uncommon. That push with the left foot in this direction helps get the body moving back, helps start the club back. So you'll, you'll often see a little spike where you might see it move to 55 to 60% of his pressure in his left foot spike a little before he takes the club back. So it begs the question, when does the backswing really begin? Uh, a lot of times when we use swing catalyst, we cue it up timing wise when we see the club initially move back but we know somewhere within his feet he is starting the golf swing even before he moves the club back so that's a a good little thing to look for so now you can see later in the back swing at this particular point the club is pretty much as far away from the target as it's going to be as now it's moving closer to him and you can see this is basically the point of maximum pressure and you could see that as he brought this club back and then brought it to the top, he is starting now to pull from his left leg. So this is a great transition move from a really great player. Uh, this particular player used to hit the ball a long way in his youth. So you could see before the club finishes its backswing, a pull from the left, a push from the right. And as he's coming on his downswing, Generally at this point where we have that left arm basically about as high as the rib cage, we look for pressure to be close to 70-30. In this particular case, the golfer is 63-37. That's a pretty good spot. Pretty good spot. Now what we had worked on in this lesson is you're going to notice that uh, you're going to notice that his combined center of pressure is going to start to move towards his heel. That's something I was training him to do. Uh, if you had looked at the first couple of swings, it had moved towards his toes. So I was training him now to then use the ground to get that left foot force to go this way towards that picture of Jack Nicholas on the wall. And you can see that a little exaggerated in this particular case as he started to move more towards that part of the, of the foot. And you can see the big highlights in that, in that left heel. Uh, going forward, what we'll then work on is neck rotation, position of the head at this particular point in the sight line. You can see that it's way back this way. So I would start then in, in his next session to start working on neck rotation. And then that will help bring that pressure a little more towards uh, his shoelaces on his foot. But overall, he had done everything I asked him to do in this particular session. And as time goes on, when we add that next piece, we'll... Uh, We'll make a little video clip of it. Michael Jacobs, Long Island, New York. Thanks for watching. A little swing.